Alrighty, so today I want to modify my original Xbox to uh, work with Insignia so that I can play online. However, in order to do that, I need to create a USB cable so that I can plug this old USB drive, which is a one gigabyte from actually back in the 2000s, uh, into my Xbox. So the thing about the original Xbox is they have this connector on them. And this connector is just a US, a, what's it called, a re packaged USB connector. So, I can create my own USB to Xbox adapter by modifying an, a, an original controller. This one here is not an original controller, it is a aftermarket controller. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this cable and cut this adapter that I have here and solder these together so that I can plug a USB into it. The pinouts are very close to one to one. There is one extra wire on this, which I will put on the shield so that I can still use it. So what I've done here, I've cut the, the end off this and I'm going to strip this back. And there we go. So I have the wires now. Come on. No, there's no other wire. Actually, there is no shield. Okay. Well, that extra wire ain't going on then. It's just gonna be the main USB wires. So, there are our four USB wires. We have five volts, ground, uh, uh, what's it called, positive and negative data. And what I am going to do is now cut this, and I'm gonna cut it here, and hopefully in the future I can re-solder this together if I wanna save it. You can go over there. I'm going to strip you back. I'm going to grab a multimeter and I am just going to double check to make sure that the pinouts are correct. So, I have a multimeter and I can put it on uh, continuity. So when I tap it, it makes the lovely beepy noise. Now, using this schematic that is online, I can just quickly confirm that if I put you there, we are working. Okay. I have just double checked the continuity on this and this is correct. And the reason why you do that is because these Chinese manufactured cables, or really it could be manufactured anyway, they may not use the correct color. And so you want to make sure when you begin that this is the correct color for what it is. Like the, it, the color goes to where it should and it does. So that's good. This, is, this will work. So now. Now that I know this is correct, I can come over to here and strip back of these. Now I'm going to do the same. As I do each wire for this, I will double check that it goes to the correct port on the cable as well. So I'm going to strip back the ground, which is the first connection. There we go. Then I'm going to quickly double check that it is in fact the first pin on here. And it is. Cool. So, now this can just get soldered. I have stripped back the insulation on the, on the wires. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both wires at an angle to create an X, sort of like the console that you're creating this for. I am going to then move my fingers to grab both ends and twist. And what this is going to do is twist the cables together really tightly, like that. It could be a little bit cleaner, but that this will do. Then, I'm gonna grab my solder, and I'm gonna grab my soldering iron. I am going to place my soldering iron underneath the wires with a little bit of solder on there. Then, I am going to apply the solder to the top of it. And what this does, is with the heat underneath and the solder on the top, it'll melt through the cables rather than just sitting on it. With that first one done, I can just uh, shrunk a little bit there. And there we go. So there, I need my lighter, which is here. Beautiful. Okay, that's one. Now to get to the next. So, I'm going to move on to green. So, same thing here. Strip the green. Strip this green. 
And if you can't tell already, it should just be as simple as directly connecting the colours now. It's not always as easy as that, if you, especially if you've got the wrong pinout. But in this situation, the pinout is correct. So it should be that simple. Okay, there we are. That'll be the trick, I think. So this is just a very not, it's not too well done to be honest. I forgot to put heat shrink on one of them and I, to be honest with you, I'm just not bothered to take it off. It only needs to do it really once. And then I was planning on resoldering it back on that controller anyway. So, let's see if this has worked. Alrighty, so here's the Xbox. I have my cable connected. I've got my USB. Let's see if this works. Hmm. It's on, but it doesn't seem to actually be responding to it. Which is neither of the options that should be happening right now. It should either be pulsing on the screen or a message should have come up. Hmm. So I figured it out. I figured out why it wasn't working. And uh, I feel like an idiot. Let me explain why. So, at the beginning of the video I said, always make sure to double check your uh, pinout. And the reason why is because if you get cheap Chinese cables, they're wrong. And I did it on the USB cable. But I didn't do it on properly, was the Xbox one. This pinout is wrong. All of them except one, the white. The one that I forgot to put solder on, uh, peach shrink on. And it turns out that was actually beneficial in this situation because I used it to test my points. And what I found was this. If I get this cable, I put it on the white, which is the second on the left, and tap my white. If I have that angled correctly, yes, it works. But if I hold it on the same spot and I tap it on the white on this, which is the second to the right, nothing. Nothing at all. In fact, it doesn't even pick up on the... Oh. Hmm, it does. But that's not where it's supposed to be. That is picking up as the timing. Okay. That is picking up as the light gun timing. So I found out that's that extra yellow wire, the timing wire, is not actually used. It's only used with light gun when you're with the gun so that you can play games like Hunt House of the Dead 2. Or, how, sorry, House of the Dead 3 is the one that's on Xbox. Meaning that I can solder a USB cable to this wire and plug it in and it will work. Which means that that's what I'm going to do. But in the meantime, so I'll cut it off there. That white cable can uh, go into the void. We don't need it, so I'm gonna cut that off. I'm gonna go to the yellow. I'm gonna strip the yellow back. This time I can correct my mistake and actually put heat shrink on it. While it does that, I'm gonna go to this. I have this cable here, which is an old USB printer cable that I, I stripped off a long time ago. I am going to now wire this to the Xbox controller while I wait. Because now that I know the proper pin out, and I know that the light, the timing one doesn't matter, in this situation, I am going to use some electrical tape. I am going to electrical tape everything down. Electrical tape can be good if you use it properly. And by use it properly, you must put pressure in a downwards motion like that and keep the tape as taut as possible when you're taping it and that will keep your electrical tape going for a long time however electrical tapes the uh what's it called the adhesive can still get uh worse over time so it's not a good permanent solution but in this situation it will work fine 
This is why electrical tape is generally used in areas where it is impractical to get heat shrink. Just like that. Look, that, that looks pretty good. Now, I'll quickly do the controller. And that should work. Unplug my soldering iron. And I believe it's now time for round two. Okay, I've got the cable. Let's plug it in. And now it's plugged in. You can see. Now, to begin with, let's actually start with the controller. So, let's plug the controller in. See if this works. It does. Oh, come on camera. There we go. So yes, that worked. Wonderful. That means that this should work as well. Plug you. And plug you in there. Hold on. Come on, in you get. There we are. Yes! Okay. Not only did that work, but that USB, which is an original 2000... I think I had got the USB in about 2009, 2008. So that USB, which is a one gigabyte, works. And that's it. That is how you create a cable. And that is how you realize that the cable that has been, that was made back in 2004 for the console by some third party company was not wired correctly. Alrighty, thanks for watching.